<laughs> if he looked like the people that call themselves Jews today, because Jesus from the tribe of Judah, why did he, why did he send him into Rome? He didn't send him into Rome because Jesus was a black man. Mm -hmm. That's why. Sent him among some more black people. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Revelation, the first chapter. This is going to be late. Revelation 1. And we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Revelation 1 and 11. Revelation 1 and 11. Now you can put this in your pipe and smoke it. Revelations 1 and 11. Go ahead and read it. Say, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Uh -huh. and, what, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, uh -huh. unto Ephesus, and unto Cyrus. Smyrna, Smyrna uh -huh. and unto Pergamos, uh -huh. and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, uh -huh. and unto Laodicea. 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 Uh, verse 12, go ahead. And I, turned, and I turned to see the voice that spake with me, uh -huh. and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Now wait a minute, he said, one like unto the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Jesus. That's Jesus, ain't it? Uh -huh. Go ahead and read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot, uh -huh. and a girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. Stop right there. And I had a Gentile tell me just about a month ago. He said, see that? He didn't say his hair was wool. He said it was white like wool. I said, oh, yeah? Let's read the next verse then. Because I'm trying to tell, I'm showing him that Jesus was black. He said, no, Jesus wasn't black. He looked like the people that call themselves Israelis today. I'm like, oh, yeah? Well, read that next verse. What does that say? And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh huh. And if they burn in a furnace. Read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh huh. As if they burnt in a furnace. As if his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Now, what you gonna do with that? <laughs> I bet you that don't look uh, like the people that call themselves Jews today. Because burnt brass looks. Dark, like black, don't it? Uh -huh. He said, look, his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. And we know that's black, don't we? Uh -huh. So what you going to do with that now? You say his hair wasn't white like wolves. Okay, fine. What you going to do with this verse 15? And his feet like unto fine brass as if they had been burned in a furnace. Finish that. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Now we're going to shoot you over here to this picture right here. <laughs> and you got, we want you to get right on in on it. And these are Africans right here. And these are Israelites right here. Black Americans right here. Which are Israelites. And these right here are Africans from the continent of Africa, and these are American blacks right here. Everybody see that? These American blacks are Israelites, and these, uh, these blacks right here are Africans, which are Hamites. Okay. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I want to thank everybody for, listen, thank everybody for coming out. I don't know what to say right now. I'm kind of a little choked up. You understand? Because in the, ne in the next lesson that we do, it's, which is going to be our Black Roots Part 2, we're going to show you why we call ourselves the Israelites. Thank you. Amen.